It reminds me Eastern Magic World when you fly around and you can observe the map from the top. You can say that each city has its own characteristic and spirit. So from observation, you also can see the human, you can see untamed and winged elves. But what exactly make me so happy about it, it's a function to switch the wings for your elves. I'm getting super happy when I have a new pair of wings for my own elf. 完美世界手游呢，也延续了端游无缝大地图的设计。那么每一张地图呢，相当于普通手游四倍的大小。除了这个地图大小以外呢，我们还设计了高度。那我们游戏中设计了三界的概念。第一界呢，就是玩家从地面可以俯瞰整个城市；再往上呢，就可以看到临界的城市和场景；那我们再往上飞呢，就可以看见整个完美世界大陆以及浩瀚的星空。我们在游戏中还还原了经典的空中飞行的玩法，玩家可以选择自己喜欢的飞行器进行空中飞行，并且可以协同自己的小伙伴进行空中战斗。除了空中和地面的玩法呢，我们还设计了水中的玩法啊，玩家可以自由自在地在水中、空中和陆地进行自由的切换。Лет пять-шесть назад, как раз я играю около пяти-шести лет. А в игре есть уникальная архитектура в восточном стиле и также много домашних животных. А, мне это очень сильно втянуло, и я до сих пор в нее играю. А декорации в стартовых зонах и тип а, и тип зданий совпадает а, с зданиями а, в буддийском стиле. Thank you. 比如说，中国古代的有名的探险家徐霞客就在游戏中客串了一把 NPC。三呢，我们非常有特色的飞行器也采用了中国古代的神话神兽鲲作为形象来进行设计。那么，御剑飞行的这个概念呢，也在游戏中加以体现。I remember being so surprised when I saw that all those facial features could be adjusted. No matter what you want, they've got it. You can make yourself really ugly, even ridiculous, if you want to. I ended up giving my character a real beautiful face, which led to tons of handsome guys wanting to get married to me in game. 嗯，端游完美世界上线的时候呢，它的捏人捏脸的技术是当年非常非常先进的。我们在做完美世界手游的时候呢，也把火柴人的形象也进行了还原。我们把游戏的捏人捏脸的参数做了很多详细的设计，比如说眼睛的大小、眼睛的形状、眼睛的角度等等，甚至瞳孔颜色不一样也可以调整。玩家可以把自己的身材调整得非常瘦，就可以获得火柴人的形象了。那么还有一点呢，也是符合现在的玩家的习惯的。那我们可以把自己捏好的形象呢，通过一个二维码的形式分享到你的社交平台上去。那么你们的朋友看见了以后，就可以通过扫二维码的形式获得你的信息。进入游戏以后呢，就可以获得跟你一模一样的脸了。About seven years ago, we played on the same server at the same time. At the time, we were in the same guild, playing as many quests as we could almost every day. The leader of the guild was always happy to help anybody in the guild, especially me. So I thought she was kind and a very enthusiastic person. One day she messaged me privately, and then we had a deeper chat, and then I learned that we were from the same city. It felt like fate. So naturally, we met offline, and long story short, she became my wife. 呃，完美世界手游中也依然继承了端游结婚系统的设计。我们在端游的基础上也做了很多的细化和优化，比如说在手游的结婚中，我们做了很多的。好感度的设计，玩家需要完成这些任务来达成条件才能进行结婚的考验。那么他们结婚去哪里去的结婚呢？我们就要到祖龙城的月老那里来申请伴侣之间进行结婚。那这边呢，我给西方的玩家们解释一下。
中国的月老呢，就相当于西方的爱神一样，你可以把你的游戏中的朋友请到你的婚礼现场，对二位新人进行祝福。And one of my favorite experiences was when my friends and I finally managed to go through the Twilight Temple in the 3 vs 3 mode. Back then, it was super difficult because we only had like very basic equipment in the Warzone city. Our team was medium sized, so it took us a long time to make it through. But at the end, I have to say, this is one of the best gaming experiences I've ever had in my life. Ginian的城站,还有跟工会的玩家有一些恩怨情仇。那在手游中我们也还原了这些内容。玩家进入帮会以后,一是可以获得很多的福利。第二呢,也可以参加很多挑战性的玩法,跟团队以及跟其他的